16th century Jewish commentator and Kabbalist Nachmanides says that the source of the Ishmaelites hatred for the Jews comes from the way our foremother Sarah Imenu treated Hagar which is the mother of Ishmael which is a little bit difficult to understand because God tells Abraham to listen to Sarah so here's the story Sarah chooses Hagar tells her Hagar is her maidservant tells Abraham marry her because I can have children with you it'll be like I have a child from her Hagar marries Abraham and then loses respect for Sarah because she thinks hey look I got I got I got pregnant right away and Sarah after 60 years hasn't gotten pregnant so Sarah sends her away an angel comes and tells her go back you're gonna have a son his hand is gonna be in everyone you're gonna really need someone to help you educate this kid goes back and this child is born Ishmael uh, to Abraham and Hagar and uh, as he grows up and then Yitzchak is born to Sarah and Abraham and Sarah sees that Yishmael is a danger to Yitzchak um, he's educating him in the wrong way he's uh, show, he, he's involved in idolatry adultery murder so Sarah tells Abraham I want him out of the house Abraham doesn't want to send him away God says to Abraham everything Sarah does says to you you should listen to well this is where the message of the Ramban is coming from Ramban is saying Nachmanides is saying that this that what Sarah did has a repercussion in later generations of our issues with the children of Ishmael but it's difficult to understand this Ramban because God himself God himself told Abraham to listen to Sarah to do this so how could you say that well I'm not going to answer that question because I don't know the answer to how to uh, jive what Ramban says and what God's telling Abraham but what is behind the story behind the story is the following there is Abraham had two missions he had a mission to bring monotheism to the world and he had a mission to be the father of the Jewish people the difference being monotheism people have to believe in one God and he succeeded tremendously in that that he had the four billion people half the world believes in one way or another in, uh, in uh, so connected to monotheistic religion but together with that he also had to have a people who are focused on Hashem and his Torah constantly that when a Jew wakes up in the morning he says thank you for giving me our soul every time we take a morsel of food in our mouth we make a blessing we pray three times a day we have on Shabbat we um, we set aside 24 hours for our connection to Hashem we're very careful with what we put into our mouth and the food that we say and on and on all the mitzvot of the Torah that a Jew has to keep this is the other mission of Abraham and Sarah to make a Jewish nation what happened was that Sarah was concerned that the the universal message of Abraham and of Abraham of Abraham was overtaking the specific Jewish message of Abraham to the extent that his children has can feel hey we'll just be one nation amongst other nations we'll be like everybody else we'll also believe in one God and be like be like everyone and therefore Sarah focused much more so hey this is being a distraction of Ram Yishmael is being the distraction from what our message is our creation of a Jewish people is he's going to be a bad influence on Yitzchak we need to send them away and God agrees with her what this tells us is we have to focus on our mission as a Jew you know many people say our purpose is tikkun olam well first of all when the the prayer says tikkun olam it says to rectify the world and the kingdom of heaven it's not just about social justice it's about rectifying the world for godly purposes the Jewish mission is a mission yes of being a light unto the nations but we also the only way we can be a light unto the nations and when we have our unique Jewish identity which is involved with the study of Torah and the fulfillment of its mitzvot where we're God our, our God sent our, our being centered on God is is 24 7 that is what is special for us as Jews this is why God says to Abraham everything Sarah tells you you should listen to because it is Sarah's who, who, who kept this alive and brought Ab and, and kind of pulled Abraham back to his focus and to what his mission 
what, what his his part, his uh, specific mission should be and was and indeed this this created the Jewish people as we are and as we know it so practically take on something a little bit more in identifying yourself as part of the Jewish people. Good Shabbos.